seemed like tonight you guys, there for a while, were able to keep with them pretty well, but it looked like their speed just kind of creates some issues for you. Yeah, we had, there were stretches where we were really good, and, and the one thing we just talked about is if, 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 if you don't compete really hard and you're not at the top of your game, you're gonna, it's going to be difficult. And, you know, their power play was really good early, and, and then we had a, you know, we t you know it's 1-1, one 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2, and we're playing, and, and, you know, they scored a couple goals off of a rush, which really weren't that threatening of situations, but then they end up in the back of your net, and now they're a really difficult team to chase. But Curtis mentioned that in the first period. It seemed like they were coming at us with some speed, and they're, you know, they're a team that when they, when their forwards get going, they can, they're, they're really dangerous, especially the, the Toomey Michaelis line has got, they got a lot of speed. You guys go on the power play, looking to tie it at 3-3. You don't score there, and then immediately it's back to back. Does that, does that stretch? Yeah, that was sense? difficult. Our, our, our power play wasn't as good as theirs. And um, we had a couple decent looks, but not nothing great. And they've got the number one penalty kill in the country, so you know you have to give Minnesota State credit. But had we been able to take advantage of that at 3-2, at you know, you get a, like you said, you get a power play, and then you know that, that puck that you know it's at the blue line, we're, we're kind of sort of going to make a play on it, and then it goes the other way for a two-on-one. and. Uh, yeah, but but if we could have taken advantage and we had some decent, that was probably as as good a power play as we had, and, and, and none of them were, were outstanding. And it's been a really good power play for us. So we're not, uh, I'm not saying it, it hasn't been good. It just tonight it wasn't as good as, as Minnesota State's penalty kill. Kind of build off that. I mean, when they get rolling and they get a couple in, a, in such a short amount of time right there, like how overwhelming is that, especially when a team of that caliber kind of gets a little momentum and puts a couple in? Well, yeah, you know, when you, Again, they lead the country in goals against. So if they're going to score five, it's going to be really hard to beat them, right? You know, and and uh, you know, at, at you know, we four four goals in the second period, and and I thought we played really good to start the third. Like we had some really good, grade A opportunities, some good looks, and they, they didn't end up going in. And then we get it to we get it to five three, and and we, you know, we elected to pull the goalie and see what we could do. But you know, we were pushing and we were we were doing what we needed to do. Uh, but yeah, you're right. They're a, if they get out in front of you, they're difficult to they're difficult to catch. That's that's for sure. When a team like this comes in that's as highly touted as they are, and you know that they're just all around, you know they have a great team. What's the first thing you look at in, in preparation for that? I think you know the thing is we said this when we played them up there last time. We we, we got down two nothing. We weathered the storm at the, in their building and their crowd was in it. And we battled back and Eric Dopp was really good and 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 we 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 had a really good win in in overtime. And then the second night it seemed to as the game went on they just kind of seemed to be a little little stronger, a little quicker, a little this. And it, what what stands out to me is that they're really really good. They're really deep at every position. They're they're strong. They they can play however you want to play. You want to play physical and and, and make it a, a grind it out game. They can do that. They've got players on their team that that 100% feel comfortable doing that. You want to go up and down the rink and try to score goals. They can do that. You take a bunch of penalties against them. They're gonna they're gonna, you know, make you pay on the penalty kill. Um, so they're just a they're they're very deep. They're 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 talented. They're they're well coached. They're they're just a, a really really good team. You guys obviously got the first one against them. Right? What do you feel is the difference right now from you guys still top 15 to a, a top three? Yeah. I don't think there's a huge difference, but I think you look at the goals they scored tonight. So, so they get a great a power play goal, boom, 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 like really, really good puck movement, real good play, and then you know we get a goal based on our effort, which is which is we're certainly gonna gonna appreciate that and and, and take that, and then you know they they get a goal off of a. a like it's a nothing play, but once you give them a three on two, it ends up in the back of your net, and so they can take advantage of the the smallest opportunity. And and maybe another team that isn't as talented, does, you know, you can get away with that against somebody else. You can't, you know, against them. So your margin for error isn't great, um, and and you've got a, you know, we we watch after the after the second period. I, I said I want to I want I want everybody to see this, and we showed the goals. Not to not to make anybody feel bad or or say look what you did, but look at this is how quickly it can turn if you make just the, the, the a wrong decision or, or or you're not willing to really compete for it. And that's the biggest thing against them. If you're not 100 percent engaged in the in this game, it's going to be difficult because they're 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 just very good, and and they're it's rare that you catch them not not playing hard. Talk about the night conquest had for you guys. 
Yeah, I mean, it was really, really good for Adam. You know, he's a guy that, you know, last weekend we he, we moved him up in the lineup in the middle of one of the games against Michigan Tech, and, and he's a kid that he's got, he, he can skate and he's strong and and has, has always scored, and, you know, so really good for Adam. You know, he, he went out there, and, and we moved him back up the lineup tonight. He started on, on a line with Adam Pitters and Chase Denall, and, and he worked his way up the lineup because he, he was working. He was doing what we wanted to do, and, um, you know, really happy for him because he, he's he's... He's done a nice job of late.